platform for the latest on the negotiations. I'm joined by Hal Scott. He's a professor at Harvard Law School and also the director of the Committee on Capital Markets Regulation. Uh, joining us from our Boston newsroom. Uh, professor, good to have you back on. I know uh, you're never without your strong opinions on financial regulation. Um, okay, so we knew that the Democrats were going to have to throw something out to get this compromise. They threw out the $50 billion bailout fund. What's your view? Yeah, I think that was a good beginning, Betty. By the way, our committee released um, a four-point program on Monday for compromise, and that was the number one thing on our list, so we're off to a good start. But I think there are uh, three other important issues that have to be addressed. Right. One of them is derivatives. The other two, Consumer Protection Agency, right, as well? Right. Uh, I think the derivatives issue, the, there are a lot of issues there, but most importantly, we have to make sure that the Fed is supervising these new derivatives clearinghouses. Uh, otherwise, we're going to get drawn into squabbles between the SEC and the CFTC. Mm -hmm. And these are, these are really important because if uh, there's a, a failure there, there's no question but they're going to have to be bailed out. Uh, okay, and uh, before we get to consumer protection, though, I want to get right back to uh, the bailout fund, though, because is there a way to replicate what the $50 billion would have done for banks? Is there a way to replicate that through other legislation? Um, I, I think the problem with the $50 billion is, first of all, why $50 billion? Uh, we don't know what it's going to cost us to bail out institutions in the future. Um, and the second problem is, uh, I don't think the idea of just taxing everybody for this is a good idea. It really, who pays should depend on the institution that fails. So uh, I think we have to give the, the system the capacity to put money in, but to recoup it later from the people who are most responsible for the failure of the institution. Okay. Uh, I want to move on, though, for, to the Consumer Protection Agency, because that's obviously another big sticking point. Uh, what do the Democrats have to do on that front? Uh, excuse me, on what front, Betty? The Consumer Protection Agency. What do, they, yes. what do the Democrats right. have to do? Well, I think they have to do two things. First of all, they have to remove it from the jurisdiction of the Fed. Actually, it's been put in the Fed for the sole purpose of the Fed funding it. The Fed would have absolutely no control over it. So um, I don't see the purpose of putting it in there. It should be subject to the normal appropriations process or have the power to raise money from industry like some other agencies. The second thing is that there has to be some check on it uh, going crazy. Um, and um, if consumer protection becomes too extreme, it could, it could endanger the safety and soundness of banks. So there has to be an ability to override it. Currently, that's only been given to the council, which is uh, with a two-thirds vote, which to me is not protective enough of the system. Okay. So, so we need a, a further ability, in my view, of the Secretary of the Treasury to override the uh, CFPA in appropriate circumstances. Okay, Professor, so just in a nutshell, though, very quickly, tell me, what's the compromise and that's going to get that passed on, 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 the, uh, on the Consumer Protection Agency? Do I think that there will be a compromise on that? Um, I, 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 I'm far from sure, um, because I think... Uh, it, it, it was, uh, the question was more, what's the compromise? And I know you outlined ser several things that need to be done, but what's the, comp what is it gonna, what's the compromise CFP going to look like? Well, uh, on, on consumer protection or overall? Consumer protection. Yes. Well, as I said, I think that the compromise should be to remove the agency from the Fed and subject it to the normal appropriations process or give it the ability to raise money. But most importantly, adjust the override. It's currently just by the Council on a two-thirds vote, and I think we could adjust that to give more power to the banking regulators and the Secretary of the Treasury to check the CFPA. Okay. All right. Uh, Hal Scott, we'll have to leave it there, but good to talk with you. Hal Scott, the professor uh, at Harvard Law School, talking about regulation.